Hey, hey guys, so this video is to make fatter, fuller, thicker braids. Um, in the lower right hand are all the tools that I used. All right, so we are going to start out with our generic French braid. I'm doing a Dutch braid because it's almost impossible for me to French braid on somebody else's head. I started out my two partings. We're doing two French braids today. I started out a parting with a zigzag just because I feel like that's more user friendly, at least it is for me. helpful hint to create a really successful tight French braid is keep your knuckles on the head. So while you're braiding, make sure that your knuckles are always touching their head. So this is the easy trick to when you want to start getting your thicker, fatter looking French braid. So take the outer ridges of your braid and then just pinch and pull on them and softly do it. And you're going to want to pinch and pull on sec certain sections, braid a little bit more, and then pinch and pull again. And then at the very end, you can go back through and pinch and pull everything. So the reason that you don't wanna do the whole thing at the very end is because your entire braid is going to be too tight. So if you do it in workable sections, you have bite-sized chunks where you can have as much pull as you can possibly get. And boom, your French braid is done. So now go through and just do your finishing touches, tug and pull on any of those uh, smaller looking pieces and just make it and finish it the way that you like it the best. All right, so option number two, and I'm really loving this one. I use this a lot for a lot of my braids or upsales that I'll do for my photo shoots. So I'm going through and prepping the hair with Iron Shape 11 just to have some heat protected. And now I'm going to take one inch section starting from the bottom and I'm going to work my way up using a micro crimper. You can put as much texture or as little texture, whatever you want, it's up to you. Um, starting near the bottom, I used a little bit less texture and then once I got more to the top, I used a harder texture. You can see the indentations here. And I did both just so you guys could see it in the video. And now we go through and just do our usual French braid again. So now that we're deeper into the braid, right at the roots, you can see, right, look right on the part line, you can see where there are the micro crimp indentations. So I put those in there on purpose. I wanted to show you guys that if you're wanting a lot of texture, then you can go from the roots all the way down to your end. If you don't want that texture, go two to three inches off of your part and just do your mid shafts. That way a lot of that texture will be hidden in your braid, but then through your part line, it will be nice and smooth. An extra bonus for this braid is you can go through and pinch back on those ends and fatten up your braid even more. I also wanted to give you guys one hot tip when you are bobby pinning. If you're wanting a look with more texture in your bobby pins, put your bobby pin into the hair, just like here, and then weave up and down, weave back and forth. So when you do that, when you push it back in, you have more of a natural texture going on. And then with your ends, put your bobby pins in your ends, roll it up, and then tuck it. And then that way you don't have any strange flyaways in your finished result. All right, and that is it. So there are two ways to get fatter French braids. If you guys need any more help, just reach out to me and let me know.